I'd like to welcome you to the Blog Millionaire's quick tutorial that's going to cover how to check and increase domain authority the right way with Moz Explorer. Because there's plenty of ways to look at your domain authority, but you have to be able to understand it and be able to check it and know how to increase it the right way. When it comes to link building, it is all about quality over quantity. A single link from a high domain authority website can make all of your posts get pushed up in the rankings. So the question is, what is domain authority exactly? Well, it is a 100 point scoring system to grade a website's ability to rank on Google. And it's based on the inbound link profile of that site. An inbound link profile, all that is, is how many links are coming to that specific website. Now the system created by Moz is the way professional marketers grade inbound link opportunities and also a way to track how your own website's authority is increasing over time. A major news site like CNN.com has a domain authority of 100 and a quality blog like mine has a domain authority around 45. The point scale is logarithmic. Now what that means is that a domain authority of 40 is essentially 10 times stronger than a domain authority of 30. Moz uses the same logarithmic algorithm for page authority, which determines a specific page's ability to influence Google's rankings. So the difference between page authority and domain authority is real simple. Domain authority is how every single page and post is affected and then page authority is for a specific post that you have and that link profile and how that's going to influence how that single post will rank on Google. Now to simplify this, when it comes to link building, you're going to want to target sites with a domain authority greater than 30. A link from a website with little or no domain authority will have virtually no impact on your Google rankings. The way you check all of this is through Open Site Explorer. And that's what I'm going to cover today. And that's what all marketers pretty much use is Moz Open Site Explorer. And you can see a nice little screenshot over it on the left side of this slide share. So let's great, get right into looking at how to break down domain authority in Moz. Now, if you after you watch this video or as you're watching this video, feel free to go to opensiteexplorer.org. It's going to take you to the free tool. You're going to want to sign up for the free version. There's no reason to do the paid version. I'm just going to cover the free tools today. And the majority of what you need is in the free tools. So if you look at the video right now, you can see that it's showing my domain authority for brandongigley.com, my personal blog, and it shows 45 out of 100. So, so this is a snapshot of, of the overview of your domain authority. So as I said before, you can go as high as 100 and 45 is significantly higher than a 43 or a 42 and it allows you to rank for, for so much more. And the goal is if you're just starting out, you want to get your domain authority to at least 30 because 30 is where you can start making things happen and get good rankings and enough good rankings to where you're going to get significant traffic. And on the as you go down this snapshot right here to the right of it is page authority and as you can see the Page authority is for the home page of brandongailey.com and the page authority is 54 out of 100, which is really strong. And then to the right of that, you have page link metrics and this is just a summary of the overall links. And it has just discovered, so there are 135 new links to my website in the past 60 days and then established links. And it shows the total root domain names and a root domain name is just a different domain name. Whereas your total links, you could have 100 links from a single domain name linking to your website with something in a sidebar or a footer or something on a main navigation. Now, the root domain is the, is the big number that you want to focus on. You want to get as many root domains as possible and root domains from domain authorities over 30, as I mentioned before. Now, moving on, we're going to look at the inbound links. When you scroll down on Moz after you type in your domain name or someone else's domain name, it's going to show you specifically all the inbound links coming to your site. Now, default, it's going to show your nofollow and follow together. Now, if you don't know what nofollow and follow is, essentially when you look at 
the left hand side of some of these links that are showing up on the video right now you can see it says no follow before it and no follow links are not going to be calculated into your domain authority now no follow links can be good it could give you a brand mention which google starts to weigh but specifically when it comes to domain authority you're going to be looking at follow links now if you click on the link type this little drop down menu right here and you go to the only follow then you're going to be able to only look at all the inbound links that have the follow link attribute and this will show you it'll take away all the ones that have no follow so as you can see right now you don't see the no follow before any of these links because these all have the follow link associated with it. and this is a good way to see your overall links that are coming into your site you can rank 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 these links by the page authority of, or domain authority of the site so on the far right hand side where you've got next to the spam score you see pa that's page authority you get a little up down box you can rank it up and down and that'll allow you to see the links that have the highest authority coming to your website now as we go down the left hand column there's a there's a bunch of little things that you can see using Moz that are more advanced but it's pretty simple and some of it can can help you out and on the left hand side from the top bat, top down we already covered inbound links now the next one is just discovered and the just discovered links I mentioned earlier is the links that have been discovered in the past 30 to 60 days and this is just a good way to see new links that are coming up because obviously if you get a blog that links to you one time you might be able to get them to link to you again by sending out emails and building a relationship with the blogger because they've already liked your stuff without even having a relationship with you so that's a, that's a good way to identify relationships that you can build with other bloggers and websites by looking at just discovered links as they come in as opposed to waiting a year or two after they've been discovered now this section is called top pages and this shows you the top pages on your website that are getting the most inbound links to it and this is a good way of identifying the posts that are really good linkable assets this will show you kind of a roadmap of what type of post to continue doing or a post that's getting a lot of links on its own without you doing any promotion to it where you can take that post that you see is getting a lot of inbound links and then really work hard on promoting it with social media or reaching out to other bloggers and trying to get them to link to it and because it's already getting inbound links on its own the next section is anchor text anchor text the bottom line here is you don't want to have a bunch of anchor text on a specific keyword because Google sees that as anchor text spam a good uh, way to look at this is that it should have your brand name so if you look at mine right here the, the top anchor text terms are my domain name brandongailey.com my personal name Brandon Gailey and then right after that the full domain name which which has the HTTP and that is typically what Google wants to see they want to see your brand mentions have the most anchor text because in the old days five ten years ago you used to tar be able to put anchor text as free credit report all across the internet and that was one way you get pushed up in the rankings right away but as I said Google's outlawed that and it's actually a negative thing and that's why you would want to keep an eye on your anchor text to make sure that uh, no one in your company or, or you've done stuff in the past where you're promoting a specific anchor text that you need to really uh, just get rid of and moving forward the compare metrics section is is really cool if you want to see how you're doing com compared to some of your competition so here I've got a screenshot of my website compared to Neil, Neil Patel he and I are the two biggest names when it comes to expertise in blogging and social media with, as a blogger as you can see his page authority uh, trumps mine by quite a bit but my Moz rank and Moz trust actually is above him and the difference here is that page authority and domain authority tend to trail a little bit and it may take six to twelve months for that to update whereas Moz rank and Moz trust it's kind of a variation of page authority and domain authority those are updated a little bit quicker and as you can see my Moz rank and Moz trust outweigh 
Neil Patel's. And that shows me basically that some of the stuff that he's ranking for, that if I wanted to do keyword research on his website and do and try to write on some of the topics that he's doing or get ideas, then I know that a lot of the stuff that he's writing about that he's ranking for in Google already, I'm going to have a really good chance of ranking for the same stuff. All right. Just so you understand a little social proof and have a reason to believe what I'm saying here and also to listen to me in the future, here's a screenshot of my blog's analytics. I started blogging in uh, April of 2013. As you can see, I started from zero. And personally, I just gotten over a brain tumor and was physically and mentally disabled for about four years before this. So I had no contacts or no help coming in, really starting from scratch. I built it from zero to now it's over 2 million uh, monthly visitors per month, which is a really big goal of mine was to get beyond 1 million and then beyond 2 million. And 2 million, really, I'm in the top 0.0001 percentile when it comes to bloggers. And specifically with what I'm within the area that I'm blogging about, small business, it means a lot. The reason I say this is because I do have a free three-part mini course that goes into link building a lot more in domain authority. And I, I basically break down my secret link building tactics and, and a bunch of other stuff. And just to give you a quick overview of what's covered in this three-part mini course that you're gonna be able to get free access to shortly is there's a quick review of how I built my blogging system that got me to where I am today. And then I go into my big three tactics for crafting blog posts that rank number one on Google. Essentially three things that you can learn in 20 minutes and start applying right away that's gonna have a massive increase on all of your Google rankings. And then I'm gonna go into my secret link building tactics that'll take your blog to one million visitors and beyond. And these aren't just, I mean, these are awesome link building tactics that are my own hacks that not many people are doing and some that no one is doing that are getting ridiculous results and that they're real easy to apply, execute, and then make all of your posts and pages go up in the Google rankings. And then finally, I'm gonna cover my incredible Pinterest hack that right now is driving 200,000 monthly visitors. And I'm sure if you're listening right now and you're thinking 200,000 monthly visitors, that would be great to have and you can do it. I'm gonna break down exactly how you can apply the Pinterest hack to your website and your blog and whether your website is about business, flowers, whatever, because everything that I do is about business. A lot of people think Pinterest is all about women, but there's there's women and men on Pinterest and they're, they're interested in business. They're interested in every single topic. And the, the simple fact is Pinterest is more like Google than any other social media and that's how my my tactic and my hack is able to drive this traffic and it's consistent traffic just like Google, it continues to rise. So go ahead right now and click on the link below the video. It's right in the video description and you'll be able to go to the blogmillionaire.com and, and it's just a, all you have to do is submit your email address. You're gonna get put on the, you're gonna put on the waiting list for my course and you're gonna have instant access to the free three-part mini course where I'm going to go over everything that I just covered. And once you're done with that course, as I said, you, it's really going to make an impact on everything that you do with your blog and really on the traffic that you're going to get. It's going to be amazing to look at your analytics three, six months out after you've applied everything that you've learned in this free three-part mini course. Thanks a lot for taking the time to listen to me today. And I look forward to getting to know you better either through my course through my Facebook group or through YouTube right now.